hi friends welcome back to another week of breakfast and lunch videos you guys i've missed you <laughs> i know i kind of told you guys how the kids have been sick um but we are back in full effect we're trying to see how things will go this week with them going back to school so for monday i kind of just let them choose what they wanted um which was just a mixture of cereal and picnic on a stick um, I'm starting out with Christian's lunch here for Monday. I've already kind of gotten started on it um, just to give myself a little bit of extra time. I started on it Sunday night, which I went ahead and put these yogurt bites in. These are just a soft, squishy dairy snack. They're pretty much yogurt bites, but they kind of have the consistency of a fruit snack. And I picked these up just to see how the kids would like them, and they all ended up really liking them. So I've given him just a few of those in the back. He has his juice, some apple slices, and then today in his thermos, I will be adding some of these SpaghettiOs per his request. Now, I know y'all read the thumbnail, and it said that this is Christmas lunches for the week. And it is. But the first two days, for some reason, I don't know what happened. We were just not getting into the Christmas spirit just yet. <laughs> Although I have already decorated my house for Christmas, and we are all very excited. These first two lunches, I don't know if I would say that they were christmasy lunches so sorry for that but please stay tuned because i promise you wednesday thursday and friday you guys will get some really good christmas lunch ideas and also if you're interested in more christmas lunch ideas be sure to check out my other videos that i have posted in the past because we've, we've done christmas lunch i think once or twice before so yeah i'm making a big old mess but nonetheless i am still trying to get as much of these spaghettios as i can because he really really likes these so i always try to fill up this to the rim. This is also a good time for me to shout out my subscribers of the week, so I'll do that now. Thank you. So I'm going ahead and getting that closed up as quickly as possible. Yes, I forgot to put his spoon in there, but I ended up grabbing it back and throwing it in there. I only showed you guys his snack for Monday, and today he's just having these graham crackers in the little uh, medium-sized Y'all Bay box. Moving right along to Caden, he has some cheeses in the back, some apple slices, and then he begged me for the ABC 123s and meatballs. You guys, it was really cold this day, like 17 degrees, so I had no problem at all giving them these SpaghettiOs just to give them like a warmer meal to be able to eat. Alrighty, so I'm moving right along to Aiden's lunch. He's also having Cheez-Its and some apple slices. And then today in his thermos, he's also going to be having the warm lunch and also the same drink. So today I'm giving him beefaroni, so I'm only giving him half a can. As excuse me, my daughter is right here, so you might hear her in the background. She's hanging out with mommy while I edit, so... Um, Aiden told me that he only wanted half a can of beefaroni, so that is all that I gave him. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that closed up to reserve the heat. And of course, he's going to have his spoon on the top to be able to eat that. Went ahead and getting his stuff closed up. Um, and then getting all packed up and ready to go. Now for Tuesday, this is what the kids are going to be having for breakfast. They're having just some waffles, some scrambled eggs, and one sausage link, and also some white milk to drink. And of course, I just put a little bit of syrup on there. And then for their lunch today, they're going to have these Dino Buddies, which is basically just dinosaur-shaped fruit snacks. No, not fruit snacks. <laughs> dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. Yes, I put those in the air fryer on 375 for about 15 minutes. I'm starting off with Cadence. He's going to be having some strawberries. Um, I'm going to land a little red pig for him. Today I only have lunches for Christian and Caden because Aiden did not make it to school today. Um, his teacher just still had too many concerns about um, his coughing and things like that. So they asked me to keep him home. So that is what I did. Um, I'm giving them these little dinosaur crackers to go along with the dinosaur cookie. Uh, why do I want to keep saying? I'm saying everything else except what I need to say. <laughs> I'm giving them this dinosaur crackers to go along with the dinosaur chicken nuggets. Um, they've never had these before, but I tasted them and they are really delicious. They taste like a 
better version of an animal cracker basically so um of course Kaden likes ketchup so i'm giving him some ketchup with his and then i'm moving on to christians because the chicken nuggets are still cooking in the air fryer at this point so i'm gonna go ahead and give him this high seafood punch because i'm out of the juicy juices i'm giving him some barbecue sauce because of course that is his dip of choice he does he likes ketchup but his preference is um barbecue sauce so i'm also giving him these strawberries with a little giraffe pick super cute and then i'm only giving him four of these dinosaur crackers because y'all know that if he has too many sides he does not eat his food Alrighty, so the chicken nuggets are out of the air fryer. They're nice and crispy, so I'm going ahead and wrapping those up in the foil. I'm giving Caden six and Christian four. And I'm wrapping them up just as quickly as I put them in there just to try to preserve that heat. I'm going to go ahead and get these closed up in the bingo box and in the Ami box to try to stay as warm as possible um, for lunch. And that's lunch. <laughs> Moving on to Wednesday. You guys know we usually have cereal on Wednesday because Wednesday is breakfast for lunch. So, um, Kaden now is home on this day. I only have Aiden and Christian's breakfast today and only have their lunch. Um, Kaden uh, got actually got called. The nurse called me from the school and told me to come and pick him up. Like, he was just not doing good enough to be there. So, um, no problem. I went ahead and went and picked him up and then he stayed home the next day. So this is now Aiden's and Christian's. And yes, we are with the Christmas theme, you guys. Uh, because we're doing breakfast for lunch, I went ahead and cut out these pancakes in the shape of Christmassy things. So I have a gingerbread man, a snowman, a stocking, and candy canes. And this was super fun to do and the kids really enjoyed it. They actually ate everything. So I'm going to be going ahead and giving Christian this stocking one. I ended up giving him two stockings, actually, and then one gingerbread and then um, also some bacon. I went ahead and filled up Cadence with the rest of these because he was really enjoying them. And y'all, he ate them all, okay? He ate them all. Um, Aiden, I mean. This is Aiden's. Caden is homesick from school. Along with that, I'm also giving them some of this bacon that I've already fried up. And along with that, I'm going to be giving them some red and green Christmas colored fruit. So they have red, red strawberries and green grapes. And I'm doing a little red pick for Aiden. And then for Christian, he has the same thing. And I just do in a red googly eye for him. And then, of course, some syrup. And that is breakfast for lunch, you guys. Thursday, the boys, all all the kids, not just the boys, they all had pancake on a stick that I popped into the oven this time. And then I went ahead and distributed two bananas between the rest of them. So for Thursday, starting out on lunch here, I'm just getting out the napkins and the juices. I went with this strawberry kiwi Kool-Aid jammer um, just simply for the colors. Um, I haven't really been buying too many Kool-Aid jammers lately. I've been really leaning towards... Um, Capri Suns, but I couldn't find any in my store, so I ended up just going with the Kool-Aid Jammer. And today they're having just hot dogs. So this is Cadence on the right. Um, I've already wrapped it up in foil, so it's nice and toasted. And gonna try to keep it as warm as possible. So I'm also giving him some ketchup to put on his hot dog. And then he does have the bun. If you guys can't tell, he has the same fruit as yesterday, the same one that Aiden and Christian had. And then with that, I gave them some red and green goldfish just to kind of stick with the Christmas theme. And also this Christmas tree, Little Debbie brownie. It's kind of like the cosmic brownies, the like rectangle ones, except it's basically just in the shape of a Christmas tree. And they really liked it. 
Aiden is going to be having the same exact fruit, the same exact brownie, um, but he's going to be having two hot dogs, and I do not, I didn't give him the bun because he doesn't like the bun. And then his ketchup is also just for dipping, and that's kind of what it looks like. This is just the twins. I'm getting ready to show you Christians in just a second. Alrighty, so working on Christians, and it was good because all three of them went to school this day. But I'm going ahead and giving him his juice, his napkin, of course. And then he asked me for just the um, hot dog today without the bun, so I'm going ahead and giving him that. And just a little bit of ketchup for dipping. He does like to dip his hot dogs in ketchup, not barbecue sauce, so I gave him ketchup. I'm also giving him just a couple of these red and green goldfish. And also, he asked me for just green grapes, no strawberries today. So I'm giving him just a couple of these green grapes cut up into fourths, and then also the red googly eyes. And I'm also giving him a brownie because he just really, really wanted it. And I just could not bring myself to not give it to him after he saw me give it to the other boys. So he has that. Friday breakfast was super easy, you guys. I just did pancakes and bananas with chocolate milk. Christian was already eating his. And so was my baby girl. <laughs> and for lunch today on friday i'm starting off with these greek style pita breads and i'm making some pizzas but i'm cutting them out into these shapes here and i did have to kind of put a little bit of elbow grease because these are a little bit thicker and they were not cutting super easy but after a little bit of hard work i was able to cut out six pieces um, of the pita bread and i just put them on my little glass pyrex dish and then i got to working on some good old pizzas y'all this was honestly kind of fun to make like yeah it's kind of weird making pizzas at 7 a.m in the morning but this was super fun and it was fun for them seeing me make it and then knowing that they were going to be able to have it they were super excited so here i am just spreading pizza sauce on all of these i have christmas trees gingerbread men and um candy cane so I also just wanted to let you guys know um, this will be the last video that I make for just a little bit just a little while I'm going on like a hiatus I guess if you will or a break um, I will actually be moving into a new home so that's kind of cats out of the bag I guess surprise um, it's gonna be about a month before I do a full video but I will still be uploading shorts so be sure to stay tuned for those or you know check those out also check out some of my old videos if you might have come across some that you maybe missed or that you didn't watch um, be sure to check those out as well um, this house we've been in for many many years it holds a lot of memories I brought my daughter home to this house after having her at the hospital so it's going to be very bittersweet for us moving but it was just time to move into a larger space that will, is just going to be better fitting for our family so um, while I'm doing that I felt like it would just be best if I didn't try to move and upload lunch videos at the same time because it does get a little bit difficult um, whenever you can't find anything. <laughs> so if you know, you know. Um, but whenever I get to the new house, I will be doing my what's for dinner videos that you guys have been asking me about and my other lunch videos. So it's going to be nice. So it's going to be fun. So definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss all the fun stuff coming up. So um, I've already spread the sauce and I'm just going to go ahead and put the shredded cheese on top. And then from here, I did end up putting on pepperonis. You can make these like just cheese if you want, but I did do pepperonis. I just cut them up into smaller pieces so that they would fit better on um, the, the pizzas. Also, you guys, I did this for my kids lunches, but if y'all are like looking for like a fun Christmas activity to do with your kids, this was so fun. Like this would be a great thing that I think that you guys would be able to do together. And you don't have to use the pita bread because honestly the pita bread is a little bit more on the pricier side. So um, if you were gonna do this, like if I was gonna do this again, I would use a homemade pizza dough, which is a little bit cheaper and um, a lot more cost effective. And I, you could probably honestly get more out of it too, doing it that way. But um, for the sake of time and me just doing this early in the morning like I did and needing to get these done and cooked, I did not have time to go in and make a homemade pizza dough, but the pita breads worked out for me in this case. But like I said, if you guys are interested in doing something like this at home and maybe you have a little bit more time on your hands, you can definitely do this with like a homemade pizza dough. 
and so from here i went ahead and popped these in the oven on 350 for just 15 minutes basically just letting them get brown not 15 minutes i'm sorry on 350 for 10 minutes just letting them get brown on the top letting that cheese get all nice and melty and gooey and they were literally good to go after that but while those are in the oven i'm gonna go ahead and get everything else in the lunch boxes so i'm starting off with a red cherry kool-aid jammer And I'm giving Christian just a couple of green grapes that I've already cut up into fourths. And I'm giving him this green pick as well. And then for Caden, I'm also giving him these green grapes and red strawberries. And then for the other side, I'm giving them these little cute Christmas tree marshmallows. I'm only just giving them two each because I don't know if they're going to like them. But I saw these at Walmart. I thought they were so cute. Also, if you guys notice, this is only Christian's and Caden's because Aiden no longer likes homemade pizza. So I had to get him something else. So for today, I let him choose. And so I'm starting him off with just a red Kool-Aid jammer, of course. And then he's having some more beefaronis, you guys. He did request more beefaronis. So that is twice in this week that he has had that. But it's okay. You know, we're going to keep it rolling. If you guys have saw some of my old videos when he was younger, he was a fan of homemade pizzas going into the lunch boxes. But now he just doesn't like it. And so he asked me to never give it to him again. So I just don't. I get him something else, um, so got something that I know that he will eat, and I know that he will eat beefaroni. So he asked me to double up his fruit today, so that is what I'm doing. I'm giving him some strawberries, some green grapes, and then I also had just like a little bitty piece of banana left over from breakfast that I did not want to throw away. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there too. Okay, so those pieces are fresh out of the oven and this is just what they're looking like. I have that foil on the side there because I'm going to go ahead and let these cool for about two minutes. Stack them up and then wrap them up in foil and put them in the lunch boxes. And this is what it looks like. I last minute threw in Kate in a Slim Jim per his request. So yeah, that's what it looked like. Thank you guys again so much for tuning into this video. If you like it, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.